I think it's reasonable for me to believe that if I do more than everyone else does for a long period of time in a very narrow subject, I will get good. And if I get good, I'll succeed. And so as long as I don't quit, then the only possible outcome besides dying is succeeding. Perseverance is a character strength we all have. It helps us be successful by doing basics, doing them well, and doing them every single day. If you have a goal in life, you will achieve it if you do not quit. However, when do you know when procrastination is just quitting with pretty gift wrapping? Let's talk about that. Welcome back to another video in the Strength of Character series. If you're new here, my name is Brandon. I'm a personal trainer and I'm really interested in what it means for a young man to be healthy today. I know we all wanna to strive to have a great physique and that's a great thing to strive towards, but what life is there to have if we also don't have great character? Well, the Greeks first kinda of explored this when defining what eudaimonia is or living a virtuous life and to achieve human flourishing. But positive psychology today has brought back this kinda of idea and defined the six virtues of life that we can strive towards and 24 character strengths that fall underneath one of those virtues. We all have character to begin with, and we all have these 24 character strengths in our own life, but it's up to us if we want to bring out the best of who we already are and actualize these character strengths. If you want to find out your best character strengths, what makes you the best you already, go take the free character strength survey and find out a little bit more about that sort of stuff. Other than that, today's video is about the strength of perseverance, which is the second strength I'm covering under the virtue of courage. So let's run it. So what is perseverance? Well, perseverance simply means seeing things through until they are finished. If you are high in perseverance already, you hate the feeling of not doing or completing the things you said you would do. Another way to say this is that finishing tasks, achieving your goals is really fulfilling and really meaningful to you, but not completing them, not doing them is worse than never trying or starting to begin with. Your goals and your projects matter to you in life. You should never shy away from your ambition or view that as something bad because your discipline and your striving towards these great goals can make you a great role model. If I still haven't convinced you to not shy away from who you already are, watch this. So they can cut the chain off the door, but they can't make us play. We've decided we're gonna finish what you started, sir. Yeah, so leave us be, coach. We got shit to do, sir. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. Sir, I just wanna say thank you. You saved my life. Fun fact, that quote was actually from Nelson Mandela in his inauguration speech. Bring down perseverance a little bit further, it has two parts, substantial effort and sustained effort. What this means is that with your perseverance, you will find a way to push hard and somehow keep going and going. Overall, your effort comes in waves, but you never quit. And more than likely, you'll probably view your frustrations and setbacks as just opportunities to learn rather than actual obstacles in your way. A reason for this is because you don't like to take shortcuts and you know how to manage healthy energy and motivation levels so that way you can enjoy the entire process along the way. And most importantly, with good perseverance, you're probably learning that the importance is more so on task completion rather than perfection, which is a great lesson to learn for anyone. To bring out your perseverance more in life, think about this. One does persevering in a task feel more like you're getting to the flow of life rather than just getting a chore done? Is it at a specific time of the day or maybe with specific tasks rather than others? What causes you to stop persevering? Is it a lack of motivation or is a lack of clarity around getting the next step done? Or a lack of focus to get started on the thing again? Or maybe a lack of meaning or purpose with the thing to begin with? When you succeed in persevering, how does that affect your approach with other challenges? Maybe you feel more confident, determined, or maybe self-reliant? To turn your strength of perseverance inward, how might you address a bad habit or vice? 
What would it look like if you persevere a little bit more with that issue? Maybe start with addressing how and when you feel bored, lazy, or lack a sense of momentum in life. Lastly, very simple, set a new goal or challenge to accomplish within the next month of life. Think about one with work or maybe a personal passion. Write it like, it is May 15th and I have done this, almost as if you are completely convicted it has already happened. To finish, write down two obstacles you expect to face and two ways you will overcome them. See Perseverance in Action, I highly recommend watching the full movie from the clip I showed earlier. It's called Coach Carter, Samuel L. Jackson. It's a great movie and think about how the entire team, how each character uses perseverance in their own way. I also highly recommend reading Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins or watching some of his longer form podcasts that he's on just because I think a lot of the shorter form motivation clips really miss out on a huge amount of depth in his earlier life that which I found really relatable especially with his binge eating and just overall sense of feeling neglected when he was younger. Um, this book was a big reason why I decided to go see if I could run a marathon on a, ran on a random Saturday in October and uh, turns out you can do a lot more than you think you can so it's very motivational, very inspiring, very, it gives you that feeling it's like, maybe I could do this sort of thing. So that's always a good feeling. I think we may all want to be more perseverant in life, but too much of one strength turns into something else entirely. So it's, it's important to remember the idea of the golden mean, as the Greek called it, or trying to find a sense of balance in our life. Clear signs of underusing perseverance in your life are when you get daily feelings of boredom, laziness, or inertia. Uh, and many times too, a sense of helplessness or a lack of autonomy can also be present. Now, don't get me wrong, some people can be more perseverant than others, but when we go through too much of a dry spell of not trying to take action again or trying again or just kind of like giving up too much and taking it too easy, we can run into what the positive psychologists, they call it the depression triad, which you feel hopeless, helpless, and hapless, which is just unlucky or a feeling like life is just not working for you. But there's a lot more you can do than you think about it, especially in our day-to-day -day life. Think back to the last section about how you can use perseverance in your daily life or think about just small questions you can ask yourself every day. But that being said, perseverance can often come or lack in one area of life rather than every area of life. This could be whether in classrooms, relationships, or just personal health. Usually if it is one area, this is a reflection of a lack of confidence or a feeling that, uh, that you lack control in one of these areas. So if this happens to you, take a step back. What's one thing you can learn or try to improve and what's one thing you can control in these situations or in these one areas of life. Oftentimes, it's just one thing that we need help to get started to get back in action or to get back into the flow of life with one of these areas. One more thing about underusing perseverance. Sometimes it's not that we underuse it, but there are other things that cause us to feel like we are low in perseverance already. One of these things is unrealistically high expectations. And I think this is key to understanding procrastination. As a personal trainer, one thing I think about is that clients, they never say, oh, I'll never start a gym routine. What they actually say is, oh, I'll start it tomorrow. I'll start it next week. But then they say that again the next day or next week, and then the next day or the next week after that. So instead of never quitting, they just never start in the first place. And that's also a lack of perseverance as well. Now, I know this happens to everyone to some degree, but we need to be realistic. Don't sweet talk yourself here. If you're starting a new routine or you're starting a new goal, you need to break it down to as small of chunks as possible. If we realized how complex life already is, we it would benefit us greatly if we tried to break things down and be more perseverant with making things the least complex as possible. When your perseverance is too strong, you become stubborn and unwilling to change your expectations or confront reality. Sometimes that routine you're sticking to just ever so perfectly just isn't working anymore and you need to change things up. Acknowledge your ego, but be willing to change the way you're doing things. That way you can still find success and you can still continue to take action every day towards your goal, but in a more effective way. A big part of using perseverance well is knowing how and when to take breaks, knowing when to change your routines and how to enjoy every step of the process along the way. This is how you're able to be so successful. You are determined to finish, not be perfect and not get so caught up with your routines. Now I'll still acknowledge routines are amazing tools that we can use to be successful, but trying to be perfect with our routines is not what's special to success. You are what's special and your ability to show up every day and to continue pursuing your goal, that's what's special. The wisdom of letting go is what helps us find balance in life with our perseverance. And that's what helps us be successful to change our routines when necessary. 
Now, the wisdom of letting go is also important when trying to let go of unobtainable goals. No matter how amazing they may be, sometimes we need to realize our own limits, that there are goals out there that we can't accomplish, but when we can mold them and adapt them to our own limits, we can still accomplish great things. For even more insights on this idea, The Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday is a great recommendation. The idea is that you need to know when to change, you need to know when to let go, but you still need to know what your limits are in order to find success in your own terms. So final thoughts with perseverance. When you are at your best with this strength, you are able to continue towards your goals despite obstacles, discouragements, or disappointments. You know your hope keeps you going, your honesty keeps you open and willing to change and confront your ego, and your bravery helps you push through anything. That's all for Perseverance. Thanks for tuning in to another video in the Strength of Character series. Uh, if you have a friend that's also interested in positive psychology or self-improvement, and they know it's not just about building up a physique, but kind of changing who they are within as well, then give this video a share to them. Word of mouth referrals is really gonna help this channel grow. Uh, this channel, we are around like 3,000 subscribers right now. And that all came from one video, which blew up about a couple months ago. And right now it's kind of like, I've got momentum going, heading in one direction with that kind of audience, but I'm kind of shifting towards a different audience. And it's like, I have to stop the momentum going that way and reverse into another direction. So anyways, really looking forward to expand into a new audience and kind of into a different area rather than just kind of like bodybuilding gym culture. Cause I think that's what that video, that audience kind of appealed to. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to find out more, subscribe for more videos to come. Do you have any more recommendations about life exercises or just ways you use perseverance in your life? Leave a comment down below. I'll reply to all of y'all and then hopefully we can learn from everyone else as well. That is all for me in this video. So take care of yourselves and you'll catch me in the next one.